thing to raise twenty five thousand, and then on top of that, and then you, you got, got a performance. dance. Yeah. yeah. Good for her. All right, Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrell is joining hey. us now, tracking a lot in the tropics for us tonight. Got a lot to talk about. Come with me now to the weather wall. If you have not heard, if you're just now getting home from work or whatever, potential tropical cyclone number one is out there. It's been out there for days. It's just now the Hurricane Center has gone ahead and said it has every chance of becoming a tropical system. It's a potential tropical cyclone number one. My guess is they name it either late night, overnight tonight, like 5 a.m. in the morning or through the day tomorrow. Right now, no name, just potential tropical cyclone. Wind speeds of 35 miles per hour, pressures a thousand three millibars. So it's not quite there yet, but man, is it close. 5 p.m. advisory, you just saw gusting to 45 miles per hour, but here's the track, the path of projected movement. So sometime during the overnight tonight should still be just potential tropical cyclone, but during the day tomorrow, circle it up. They're gonna name this thing during the day tomorrow, I would bet. Here's a close up shot of that track. Should make landfall sometime Saturday, about 2 p.m. with 40 mile per hour sustained winds here around Fort Myers. Track just to the south of our viewing area, then out, it's gone. Sunday, out of here. By Sunday, when you wake up Sunday morning, going to church time, having lunch with the family time, or the Sunday looks all good. Saturday looks kind of wet though, especially from Orlando to the south. Now, let's be well heard. System is not well formed yet. This track could change significantly in the next 48 hours. It could change a whole lot by tomorrow morning. So it's a fluid system. We'll keep you posted on what's going on. Just tune in. Here we go to the radar for now. Here's Reddick, here's Ocala, and right in there, we've had a little bit of rain. Not a lot, but a little. All the abundant moisture is still way down south trying to edge its way closer. And it's coming. I mean, you see the lightning strikes here from Fort Myers all the way around to Fort Pierce, down to Miami. Heavy rain there. Big time thunderstorm there. And this moisture is a big slug of moisture all the way down to Key West and to western Cuba. And it's on the way for the weekend, or at least two-thirds of the weekend, Friday and Saturday. Most of the day tomorrow is still pretty good. No emerging emergency situations. But late night, Friday into Saturday, more moisture begins to show up. Watch that rainfall total. By Saturday at 6 p.m., as this thing is pulling away, we could have picked up more than seven inches of rain in the rain gauges from the Cape to Southern Bavard to Southern Osceola, while everyone from Orlando to the north and the west doesn't end up with nearly as much rain. Currently in Orlando on the health camera, it's 88. Daytona Beach at news time, 85. This is all really good stuff before this moisture comes our way. Look at the 91 degree readings from Gainesville to Ocala, 88 in Kissimmee and 85 in Daytona Beach. Here's the rain tonight, a little oversold here, but during the overnight we calm down then tomorrow. It edges in late, there's the beginning by three, four and five, seven, eight, nine, midnight into Saturday. Saturday looks really wet in Southern Bavard County. Tonight's overnight low in Orlando tumbles to 73. Here's tomorrow.